All right, so recently I have uh, plunged myself into even more debt, and it's because uh, Marvel came out with we its new... Out. Well, yeah, me too. We, uh, yeah. Uh, Marvel has come out with their own, like, uh, Loot Lo Crate-esque uh, subscription service. It's basically just like Loot Crate, except they send you a box every two months, and within that bo box... Sorry, box, box. Uh, same Go thing. Uh, you get uh, uh, Funko Pop, um, you get two vinyl collectibles. Might be an exclusive Funko Pop as well. And, and a shirt. And a shirt, exactly. So, um, for me, the entry point, if you don't want to do the whole um, six months, no, sorry, the whole six boxes where you pay up front for the whole year, yeah. that's like 191 with shipping. Uh, that's a lot. Um, but for, you know, if you want to do it month to month, or sorry, every two months, because that's when the box is released, yeah. it's about 25 bucks. Um, I like it. I think that these little subscription boxes are pretty cool. I mean, I could build it as a work expense because I'm going to be unboxing them anyway. There you go. I'll show you. Uh, no, this is for work, Mom. Get away. <laughs> oh, no. No, I live with my mom. Oh. Yeah. You hungry? Hey, Ma! Can we get some meatloaf? <laughs> yes, I used the credit card. <laughs> Explain yourself, right? Yeah. What, 27? Oh, no, I'm about to be 27. Ah, me, low. Mom, bathroom. Bathroom. I'm a 27 year old man. I could order a box filled with, with, with action with, figures. With action figures. They're action figures. <laughs> well, just not saying action figures. Say collectibles. Collectibles. <laughs> yeah, collectibles. Collectible action figures, mom. I mean, Fuck. Fuck. I mean, like, as an aside, I just mostly say, like, no, these are collectibles and. They're gonna be worth a lot of money down the road, so you know. That's the best I, way to go. That's, that's, made that's what I tell them because you know it's it, in go. a way it's true, and then on the other hand as well, it makes me feel better, and then it makes them feel better because it's like, oh well, he bought it for twenty five, but maybe it'll be worth seventy five. I mean, you know? we were made a pretty good killing in Magic City Comic Con, like we yeah. talked like mm -hmm. last week. I mean, you could you could buy these pops like that are just exclusive or that are online selling for eighty or much more. I mean, well, it's it's not, not, I, mean I, I bought the. I bought a Tony Stark Funko Pop, the one, the Iron Man 3, the Iron Man without the helmet. Yeah. I got it for, I think it was like 30 bucks online. Yeah, mm -hmm. Now I've seen it on an eBay go for like 100. Right. By the way. So, uh, why don't you stick a Funko Pop up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> this guy sitting back here like, what the fuck are you guys are collecting dolls? <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the funny thing about the April one is it comes with the Hulkbuster Funko Pop, the 6 inch. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect for your ass. <laughs> I knew it. I, as soon as I said it, I knew it. it is as far as we know, it's only exclusive for the April box. You are the cannibalistic rapist, so... You know, so. <laughs> I don't think you wanted to, to pretty right. much go for this persona two episodes I'll later. take it. Hey, I'll take it. He's the cannibalistic rapist. <laughs> and he's actually getting photo pops on his butt. <laughs> there we go, baby. Six inch. <laughs> This guy screaming six inch like he's proud of it. <laughs> oh man. Come on, that was my right. that was my shot. He took it away from me, guys. <laughs> what? That was my shot. <laughs> Pretty sure it was, Alex. It's alright. Oh, yeah. Anyway, if you want to get in on this another uh, crate, I would say, you know, you're already if you're already taking loot crate up, maybe stop loot crate for a month, try out the Marvel Collector Corp, see if you like it. Because um, really, it's really only a five dollar difference, and I think that so far. Well, maybe um, you got taxes and shipping. That's true. Well, no, taxes, no, no taxes. Shipping. But shipping, tax yes. for shipping you have, like. So you could get the box. You could try it out, and their slogan is basically like Marvel collectibles, no fluff. So that means I don't know if they're taking a shot at Loot Crate or something right. like that, but they're basically saying like, hey, look, we're not gonna make you pay thirty bucks for this box that we only send once every two months, and we're gonna give you like you know, little. Trinkets. We're gonna yeah, give you actual stuff. I thought that retail was kind of crappy. Like yeah. from the ones that I've seen, it doesn't really. And it's thirty bucks. No, it's like twenty. Twenty. Yeah, with shipping and everything. Actually, last week was pretty cool that they gave pretty you the cool. Star Wars one, the first Star Wars. Oh movie. yeah, no, the I Marvel. saw that. Yeah, well, it's not the first one. The first new one on the market. I guess I'm just, I'm kind of hate. It's, it's fine. You can drink the hater. Right? I mean, there's people out here that probably hate Loot Crate. There's people out it's here that love it. It's the butter jazz. It's the peanut butter jazz. They hate us because they hate us. There you go. But guys, um. Yeah, I would say try it out for a month. If you're looking for a subscription service like Loot Crate and you're just not sure about jumping into Loot Crate, try out Marvel if you're a comic guy, comic girl. 
and see how it goes. Um, we're definitely going to be unboxing them here as they come in. So if you stay until April, if you stay until April <laughs> with all these all these cannibalistic rape jokes, but um, I I feel that deep rape down, rape is not funny, people. Yeah, not funny. I don't know. But if you gotta survive, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but I just feel that this is the audience that we're trying to attract here. Or this yeah. is what these. Are, I comes. hope that our viewers our viewers will will enjoy this content. That's all I hope. Right. But um. Anyway, more news on uh, Marvel Collector's Corpse as it comes out, and we'll be unboxing in April. Like, not everybody collects Funko Pops. Not everybody, you know, wants a, a tie. You know, girls buy the loot crate, too. But at the same token... Well, girls, hey, can girls can wear ties. Yeah, girls can wear ties. Mm -hmm. but, mostly you know. lesbians, but they'll wear ties. No, I mean, come on, man. <laughs> Girls can work. Oh, yeah. Girls can work. Oh, my yeah, God. I, like a, like a little schoolgirl. You know? yeah. I love lesbians. I'm cool with it. Lesbianist. <laughs> you are a lesbian. Yes, so I am. This is not a male. I hope everyone knows. This is a female. <laughs> but respect her. <laughs> we get a grab, baby. <laughs> oh, man. This is not okay. <laughs> this is not PG, guys. Oh. This whole <laughs> clip is a train wreck. <laughs> it's awesome. We're though. probably gonna use ten seconds of it. So the loot crate box is this and this. <laughs> the loot crate is this, this, and this, and then we just go talking about sticking Funkos up everyone's asses. And, I know. And, and then the girl, as a yeah, this woman, the girl, the lesbian. I go into Bruce Jenner treatment. <laughs> Bruce Jenner, which is that? I don't know. What, I don't know. 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 I that's right. what the viewers want. <laughs> right, guys? This is what you want. Are you okay? So, <laughs> so we got our, cam our, cam our camera crew is cracking up right there. Yeah. We actually do have a crew. We have a crew of two people. Yeah. But <laughs> it's a crew, nonetheless. 